if you're speaking up or you want to speak up about something, but you're afraid of resistance or you're afraid that you're going to get in trouble, I suggest finding a few other people who also care about that issue. And then you can meet with them and talk with them about what you could do about that. Um, some students I met recently in Brooklyn, their issue was um, bathrooms in their schools. They don't want, they want to have some bathrooms that aren't just for girls or boys so that someone who has a gen, more gender fluid, fluid um, identification would feel more comfortable going to that bathroom. So, I mean, that's their issue. So, okay, what can they do about it? Find a few other people that agree that's their issue. Start coming up with creative ideas about what you can do about it. Um, see what's going on around the country maybe even around the world or in your state, in your community. There's probably already people working on it, whatever the issue is. Find out what they're doing. You know, as a nurse, we always say assess, number one. Assess what's already going on. What's the situation in your school or in your community on the issue that you care about. And then as you start talking to others, you'll worry less about, oh, what's gonna happen? We might get in trouble with this, may not work. We're gonna lose, we're gonna lose. Of course, a lot of times we're gonna lose. But as I found out, it's still a great way of life to keep trying to, to change things that you care about.